Uh, my bad for my mic making noise. I'm making tea? Or no, I made tea. I'm gonna drink it and then the, the stream start. Yeah. I was muted. Good morning. There we go. Good morning, Haven. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, usually I start the game in like the just chatting stream. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's because I don't know. Um, one of the people that I watch a lot, uh, he usually starts out, like, chatting. Actually, two of the people I like a lot. They both start out chatting. Excuse me. And they'll chat for, like, a good, like, hour, give or take. Before, um, actually playing the game. Um, which I love that for them. But not so much for me, because I usually, like, oh, what do I talk about? Oh, you know? 
I don't know what to do with myself. Um, so I thought I'd just go ahead and play the game. But this time, I actually do have things to talk about. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Um, today, we're playing Holston, which is not a, like, hugely popular game as far as I know. Like, in the sense that it's not, like, Dark Souls or Persona, which I bet everyone's playing Persona right now. <laughs> but I unfortunately do not have the game, and, um have priorities so that's not happening um Halston is a indie game that I found on Twitter some while ago and I remember being like super 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 excited about it and mm, Mm, yeah, I was super, super, super excited about it. It just looked really cool. I think it reminded me of, like, Resident Evil. But I'm saying this as someone who mm, has never played Resident Evil before. So definitely take that with a grain of salt. Um, did I mention this is psychological horror? Psychological survival horror set in an eerie, isolated, 90s Polish town consumed by an ominous presence. I feel like I should put content warnings, but I so I know so little about this game, and. I don't know who all would have written content warnings for this game. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of just gonna... Okay, frequent, yeah, I got it, I got it. Frequent violence and gore, general mature content. Okay, I, I get that, I get that. Where's the chat? Oh, I'm all over the place. Okay. Ace. Content warning. Hmm. I put it in the chat, but it's not appearing on screen. Game. Ch Mm. Hold on, I'm troubleshooting something. This is gonna bug me. Green elements. It might have been because I did have to like log off of my um Twitch thing in order for it to work. So let me make sure everything's still um work. Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll just leave it. Perhaps. 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 I think that should be my game. Okay. What if I... What if I... Nope. My bad. Oh, where's my chat? Oh. 
I gotta, uh... There you go, extend it out a little bit more. PW slash slash. Does that show up? No. Okay. I guess that's just something I'll have to worry about some other time because there isn't really. I don't know how to get. I don't know how to connect it or make sure that everything's connected. Um, I'll just have to leave it. I just have to leave it. Perhaps. Hmm. Something's working one day and then the next. Is my okay? My, at least I can see. I can see it. So I can read everything just fine if anyone says anything. But um, the things that I say do not appear on the screen. Actually, I might have to refresh it. I didn't consider that. So let me do this again. Paste. No, it still hates me. Yeah, you win some, you win. You win some, you lose some. I'll just accept it. I maybe I disabled the chat on on thingy, but I have to check because I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm so sure that I didn't. Oh well, it, it do it do not matter too much. Um, I was supposed to play this game a while back, a way while. Uh, Holston, where'd you go? Okay. Is it up? Is it working? The audio is working. Okay. How do I move? Oh, I can move now. And then you can just use the the two cursor buttons. Kind of just runs automatically. Cool. Ugh. What is that on the floor? Q and E to rotate the camera. Oh, that's neat. And it's not a hold, it's click. So you click the button. And it does the thing. I can't leave without these blueprints. Okay. The entry phone mounted on the wall. Okay. So I don't point in order to interact with anything. I only click based off of what I'm nearby, which makes sense. This is a game that... I feel like this is a game that you... 
that works with controller. For sure. Feels like a good controller. A plastic box mounted on the wall. A faint electrical hum can be heard coming from it. Door is stuck and won't open without a narrow tool. Okay. There's a rust there's a large rusty padlock keeping the door shut. A broken key is jammed inside it. There is no way to take it out. Hmm. You came to town. Mm, how do you pronounce that? Google. Google, help me. Help me, Google, help. G -d Who's? Oh, this is a town. That makes sense. I context context. Actually, now that I think about it, I think there's um a video essay somewhere out there about Holston that I didn't watch because I didn't want spoilers. But aside from, I don't know, because it just seems a really cool game, and I'm like, oh, why wouldn't any why wouldn't anybody be interested in this if they saw it? I don't know how many people have actually seen it. Mm. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Pro. Now see. Okay, I might skip over. Is that okay? Cause I I just don't know. I I got no idea. Okay, you came to the town with one goal: to find your friend Artek and bring him home. The search has led you to this place. The Janowski house. The Janowski house? Some clues point that you can find the underground tunnel map here. If that is true, you'll be able to reach your next stop. The brewery. The last known whereabouts of Bartek. One of the few sane people in town is waiting by the entry phone assisting you from a distance. Her name is Anita, and you're stuck together in this mess of a situation. Whether you like it or not, she sh whether you like it or not, she certainly doesn't. Aww. Remember that whenever you get stuck, you can check the map, look at your inventory, and go through any notes you've found. Inspect your surroundings, look for clues, and use any advice you can. The Trinity knows you're going to need it. This place is not there to help you. Neither will it accept your help. It's too late for that. <laughs> Just kidding. The padlock code is 2137. Please mind that while the events happening in this demo are considered canon, this particular gameplay bit will not be included in the actual game and that it's still missing a lot of the cool stuff that we're working on. With love, Sonka. Oops. Okay. Actually, oh, I checked my inventory by pressing I. That makes sense. Oh, and I have... Bartex planner and I think this is the message that I just looked at. So two two one three seven. And then I'll check the um
two, one, three, seven. Oh, lights. 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 I'm sorry. I'm so amazed by this. You can see everything. I love this so much. Like, one thing I, I, I really love, like, aesthetically are, like, simple, like, simpler art styles or, like, art styles that, um, sort of replicate, um, stuff that would have been made in the past. Um, and with that, like, the past stuff, it would, it has to be simplistic, um, because they weren't entirely, um, capable of making the things that we make today um like they had to work within our in their limits but nowadays people don't really have those same limits um even like indie devs who like like the games like games they take a lot of work they take so much work they take so much work in order to be made but like it, an indie dev can still make something like it's still possible to make something on like a triple a studio like level um of course like you wouldn't really expect an indie to have like the resources um or like the security to be able to make something like that with like a relatively small team or just with a relative like without like much of a reputation you know what am i talking about like like you, we shouldn't really expect indie devs to be able to do something crazy but the point is, is that they still could because today you can learn how to do anything just like free as long as you're willing to put like the time into it um but any the point is the point is i just like this sort of pixelated art style but um which reminds me of older games that were a lot more limited in what they could do but it's still taking advantage of some of today's resources you know is this little 3d laid out like this is definitely a 3d thing. for sure It's so nice that you can see like all angles of this room and be able to like investigate any everything in here, like just visually with your eyes. I'm so amazed. I'm so in awe. Oh, and I'm so curious about like these weird like things on the wall. You see that like the lighter I can point to it with my cursor, like the lighter part of the wall. I thought that it might have been a reflection from like the mirror, but there's nothing on the other side. Mm. And like, even though it's so like it's pixelated, it's kind of hard to like see everything. You can still see like you can still tell what everything is. It's a plant. Oh, you can tell what like almost everything is. It's just so cool. I just think it's so cool. Something else that I like is out of the two doors, this one is the one that kind of like draws your attention simply because it has like the cross over top of it. Like it kind of feels, it feels like a point of interest because it has like that cross and like out of, and I think the, the perspective, what was the perspective that you started out with? Um, I think it was this one. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Was it this one? I already can't remember. It might have been this one. Like, it, it was a perspective where you could have kind of already see the door. So, even if you didn't quite know what to do... It's gonna be behind this door. This door that had the padlock on it. I love this game. Already. Okay. So we have... Telephone cards. Which I wonder if the telephone is how we save. We have a healing item. The map. This is very present. Plastic box mounted on the wall. Faint electrical hum can be heard coming from it. Narrow tool. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. A narrow tool. Gotcha. And then something else I wanted to look at was Bartek's planner. Um. Okay, so this gives us an idea of where he was. Oh, this is where he was supposed to be. Okay. Perhaps. Oh, so it must have been organic matter of sorts that I was seeing. Oh, and it reacts to light. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if it can hurt me. That would make sense if it could. Um, but even if it can't, it's still something I definitely can't walk past. Which is... What? The camera is adjusting a little bit. It's freaking me out. It might just be based off of my position in the room. Oh. That's fun. <laughs> Being able to break things. Okay. And then I push the door open. That's cool. I push it closed, I mean. Oh, look at the, the shadow. And if I get closer to it okay so it seems to get agitated by my presence but it doesn't necessarily hurt me good to know good to know I will be better off with it not in my way though And then with these footprints, these uh, bloody footprints on the floor, probably want to go up the stairs. It's also pretty clear that I want to go upstairs with the fact that the lights move all of like these other organisms away, but not the ones on the stairs. Which is telling me that that's the like place I have to go and puzzle solving wise. I need to, um, puzzle solving wise, that tells me that I need to figure out how to move these plants away from here. That's singing. Lady, you scared me. You scared me. Is that voice a part of the atmosphere? Or is she scaring me? Cause she's kind of scaring me. 
The sink is inoperable. It's entirely plugged with ooze. Clogged with ooze. It's this is a small lamp with a shade. What will you do? Kurva. The switch doesn't seem to work. Perhaps there's no power. You found a light bulb. Will you keep it? Is there any way that I can restore power into this room so I can get to this? And we're gonna put the light bulb back in here. And just keep in mind that there is one in here. Because I might need to turn on this light. Okay, that's scary. Hello. Ktoś tu jest? Hey. Proszę, wysłuchaj mnie. Potrzebuję twojej pomocy. Czy ty? Czy ty jesteś pan Bartek? Co? Wujek. Wujek pan Bartek? Ten, co chodził z notatnikiem i pytał o różne rzeczy? Tak, to ja. Wujek pan Bartek. To, to ja, Maciek. Maciek. Maciek, czemu wszędzie jest tak ciemno? N nie wiem, naprawdę. Ta pani od białej sukienki szperała w skrzynce elektrycznej w przedsionku. Oh. White dress lady. Oh, I probably heard her singing, didn't I? There's no power in here. Okay. There are many fridge magnets with city names. Zocco Pain, Soap Pot, Warsaw, Rock Cow. I don't think I got any of those right. A uh, pot filled with chopped vegetables and eggs coated in mayonnaise. Okay, that's just at me. Is that my phone? Whose phone is that? Whose phone is that? Jak sytuacja? Oh. Nic mi nie jest. Jest pełno mazi. Nie ma prądu. Nie byłem. Janowscy. Rodzina, która tu mieszka. Spotkałeś mm -hmm. kogoś z nich? Jak wyglądają? Zauważyłeś coś niezwykłego? Nic tu kurwa nie jest zwykłe. Co mam ci powiedzieć? No. Jeśli zależy ci na tej durnej mapie, która doprowadzi cię do tego twojego Bartka, rozejrzyj się po domu. Spróbuj wszystko oświetlić najlepiej jak się da. Plazmo... Ta maś. Nie lubi sztucznego światła. Pogadaj z gówniarzem, może coś z niego wyciśniesz. Już z nim gadałem. Mówił, że ktoś grzebał w skrzynce z korkami. <laughs> Gratulacje. Dzieciak rozgryzł to szybciej od ciebie. Światło elektryczne potrzebuje prądu. Nadążasz, a prąd mieszka w tej buczącej skrzynce przy drzwiach. Uważaj tam na siebie. Jeszcze się tu pokręcę. Jakbyś kogoś potrzebował z mózgiem. Okay. I wonder if she was like a scientist or something. She was about to call it the plasma instead of the ooze. Which is probably what we're familiar with it being called. Okay. So... These rooms are kind of safe. In the sense that... 
that lady that singing lady is not in here dishes with stale leftovers the oil cloth is covered with greasy drops of chicken soup a set of decorative plates with folk patterns okay and i think we're looking for blueprints long scratches on the floor likely caused by moving a piece of furniture so that means there's might be someone locked in here right well i guess i it seems like if there was someone in there i would hear their voice Okay. Uh, and I'm not going anywhere near that door, VH. No power in here. This game is scaring me, like, with the perspective. Girl, why are you bringing the phone again? I'm not answering. Give me a second. Yes, I'm taking the knife. I won't take things from grandpa. Grandpa's and grandma's room, especially when they lock the door. Okay. So what they got in the room? Oh. Magic? Why is it you know? <laughs> Oh, okay. So this is where Muszę wiedzieć, gdzie są. No dobra. Przestraszyłem się, jak przyszła ta pani od białej sukienki. Potem se pomyślałem, że ona też może się bać ciemności. Każdy się boi. Poszedłem do skrzynki i zacząłem wykręcać korki. I wtedy usłyszałem hałas. Jaki hałas? Nie mogę ci powiedzieć. Był bardzo straszny. Spanikowałem. Pamiętam tylko tyle, że wbiegłem do salonu i schowałem się pod kanapą. Okay, ran in the living room and hid under the couch. Okay. Po raz pierwszy mamusia zostawiła cię samego. Poświeć na masz, jeśli cię blokuje. Aha, poprzesuwaj meble albo coś. Jak jesteś taka mądra, to czemu nie wejdziesz do środka i sama tego nie zrobisz? For real. No jasne, na pewno potrzebujesz moich 40 kg żywej wagi, żeby przepchnąć kilka mebli. Uh, yeah. Me personally, you, you can push something. I don't know what, but you can push something. Okay, is there anything I can... Can I use the knife that I have, that I found? Okay, these boxes are now open. Okay, so now we're looking for some fuses. Ooh. I'm still not going to that room. You couldn't pay me to do it. Dirty armchair. There are cigarette holes in the upholstery.
the camera is freaking me out. So there's another, wait, there's one. I can get in from outside, but I guess that's not what they have intended for me. I don't think. Yeah. But not that, not this room. I'm not going in there. I'll see what I can do without disturbing her. Um, except this game doesn't necessarily seem to have, or this doesn't seem to be a section where I would be in combat. I can hear her in here too. Long scratches on the floor likely caused by moving piece of furniture. This is a mirror. No, it's not. Okay, I'll get the light bulb from downstairs. Oh, but I can't, can I? I can't. Okay. pod kanapą w salonie i zrobić zasadzkę na tę panią od białej sukienki. To tam się najpierw schowałem, ale potem było mi strasznie niewygodnie. Spróbuj schować się pod okay. kanapą. I get it, I get it, I get it. So, the cow. So this isn't the living room? This is not what you would call the living room? This is definitely not a living room. Okay, I'm trying to get I I I'm not getting used to this oh, interface. Christ. Like having to, um, kind of having to move the camera around and then press, like, click on things that I'm not necessarily pointing at is hard to get used to. Um, uh, do I have to go in there? Do I have to go in there? I think I have to. Actually, no, no, no. Is this the living room? I think it might be this room. But there isn't really a way for me to navigate this place. Because I don't have a light. Is there a flashlight somewhere that I might be able to use? Locked from the other side. A joyful female humming can be heard coming from the room. Oh, okay. So they won't even let me go in there. 
That's good. Okay. There isn't any way for me to get past. Me personally, I would hop over the couch. Um, you can literally climb over the couch, but I get it. This is uh, not that kind of game. There is a puzzle that needs to be solved. Um, huh? okay, can't do anything about that. Let's go in here. Huh? Long scratches on the floor. That's for moving furniture. What am I missing? I'm guessing I feel like I need to look for a second light. But I'm not sure where I would get another one from. can't move it right now because it's and the kids Spróbuj in schować się pod kanapą w salonie i zrobić zasadkę na tę panią od białej sukienki to tam się najpierw schowałem but i can't get in the living room I, there's got to be something I'm missing. I can't turn on the lights in this room, no matter what. Um, even when there was a working light bulb in here, I could not turn on the lights. Um, means there's nothing I can do in this room right now. Um, this is what I would assume is the living room. 
Um, but unless there's a butt that I'm thinking. Unless there, there's dirty armchair, cigarette at holes in the upholstery. This is the couch. I can't hide underneath it currently. Um, and there's nothing I can do about this box that's on the floor. So there has to be something else. So I checked this room, that room. I can't go in here. Uh, the boy tells me to hide under the couch. Uh, and I'll talk to the lady again. Or I'll see if it will allow me to. Anita is not there. She said, she said all she had to say for now. Okay, cool. Thanks, Anita, for calling me when I didn't need you. Actually, wait a second. I think I cracked the code. Let's see what that did. So we're gonna take this, take out the light bulb. Yes. I remember the, it doesn't work in the bathroom. that one first. Now the bathroom's on. Sink is inoperable. It's entirely clogged with ooze. A musty order comes from the washing machine. There are no there are damp clothes inside. You found a watering can. Will we keep it? Yes. Okay game. Okay. I understand now. I understand now. I'm so happy. Oh, and the light just works. So I didn't even need to have the light bulb in there. Okay. się pod kanapą w salonie i zrobić zasadzkę na tę panią od białej suki. tam się najpierw. Yes, sir. And then this also provides room in this. It also provides some light in this room as well. Uh, pot with chopped vegetables and eggs. Okay. An operable sink. I feel so smart. Okay, I got some keys. Found a key with the tag. Will we keep it? Yes. Um, and I like this junk drawer. I love I love this game. Okay, I think I really like. Um. I really like environmental design. Is that? Uh, 
that I know that makes sense. It does make sense. Um, I think it's cool. One of the things that I wanted to do when I was in um, high school, uh, when I was doing like an art program, was I wanted to learn how to like make a house feel like lived in. And I'm learning that one of the crucial things is that junk drawer. This is the living. Okay. Oh. Doors locked. TV screen is shattered into dozens of pieces. Okay, and I can't interact with that lamp. I really wanted to, to see if I could get another light bulb out of it. You found a fuse, will we keep it? Yes. So this wasn't telling me necessarily that I had to hide, but more so that that's a place that he hid with it also being like a place where he kept the, where he might've dropped a few. Uh, chart handed a pile of ashes. I did my last penance according, accordingly to what our good provost said. My husband and I already have the results. The due date is set in August. Since my last confession, I've committed the following sins. I argued with my mother. I doubted my faith in the face of my father's sickness. Deeply regret all my sins. I'm scared I won't be able to join the penitent mass. Pen penitent mass. I want to make atonement to purify my soul. For my next penance, I'll do what was spoken in the sermon. I'll remove the root of evil from my body. Gary. Scary. Very scary, scary, scary. Oh, window. Rain fiercely patters against the window as if it never intended to stop falling. Okay, so we have the bathroom light on, which we don't really need the bathroom light on. I might still need to hide in the living room. So I guess maybe I should put that fuse on. But I need this lamp to work. Huh? So that lamp still doesn't work. Girl, stop. But where were you when I needed you? Nie mogę pojąć czemu to aż tyle trwa. Róż głową. Na pewno byłeś w każdym pomieszczeniu i zabrałeś wszystko co się dało. Może da się jakoś sprawdzić czy wszędzie zajrzałeś. Oh, I do have a map. <laughs> I forgot. So the hall still has something. Cool. Oh, wait. Mm. 
Girl, uh, what? 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 Prze Przepraszam, że zabrałem korki. Kiedy przyszła tu ta pani od białej sukienki, wpadłem w panikę. I ja wykręciłem też wszystkie żarówki, które mogłem znaleźć i rozbiłem je, żeby ją odstraszyć. Ale nie wchodziłem do pokoju babci i dziadka. Tam mi nie wolno. Okay. Um, was that a lie? Did you go into the room? No, I'm not opening that door, actually. Oh. Interesting, 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 interesting. Is that what new? I, I don't think it's new. But I won't touch that because I don't want to die. Droplets of water trickled down the hole. Small faucet in the wall is still functional. What it I guess I'll fill the watering can. I don't really know what I need it for though. Heat a pile of shattered light bulb. Fresh electrical fuse. Seemingly found it with a blunt tool. The floor tiles in the vicinity are cracked, indicated an extraordinary strength was used. Uh, did that boy? Okay. Uh, and then there's another. Wait, I didn't have to. Check out this room. Oh, wait. Oh, but I need the light bulb. Hmm. Well, she shouldn't. Almost empty bottle of vodka seems to be put here intentionally in perhaps. Okay. So there's another bulb. Actually, I need this one. Take it. Thank you. Um, and then there's another lamp that I needed to do the thing. This room, this room has a light, but I can't turn on that light. There's a disfigured small corpse in the wardrobe, chopped beyond recognition. Ah, that scared me. Child diagnosis. M Macy, Macy, displays intelligence, openness, eagerness to learn and is interested in physical processes, especially electricity. He also tends to collect and play with objects related to electricity, such as batteries or light bulbs. Problems regarding difficulty understanding spelling rules and remembering facts outside of his interests are within the norm for a child of his 
It is advised to be aware that his curiosity could create a situation that could put his health or life in danger if unattended for a long period of time. That's, I think, I, mm, I'm seeing things. And she sounds especially close. I don't want to go down there. Is there anything I might need from here is the question? I don't think there's anything I need from this particular room. Um, Hmm. Oh. In the office. Where's the office? I see bedroom. I couldn't explore this room, right? Oh, I was trying to figure out which one of these, um, keyholes this thing probably went to. <sighs> no, I was in here earlier. There was... Now this light. There's some light in here turned on. A wall unit made of laminated board, broken in material repair multiple times. Doors locked, of course. Found an old ring. Will you keep it? Yes. Yeah.
Oh, this is the office. No, it's not. This is someone else's bedroom. Or notebook labeled case. See his diary. Writing on every page is covered in crayons. Looks like a cutout photo of Greg Wars. She. Chikowski? No. Maybe. Was taped up to the cover. Czemu masz pierścionek dziadka? To nie zabawka, wiesz? I know it's not that. pierścionek twojego dziadka? Te symbole. No jasne, że tak. Ale możesz go na trochę pożyczyć. Tylko odłóż go potem na miejsce, dobra? Okay, where did I take it from? I don't remember. I thought it was the office because it had a desk in it. Bizarre pile of furniture, hard to imagine what purpose it could serve. Uh, children's bunk bed sheets on the top are kept tidy while the bottom is in disarray. Oh, okay. Well, how do I get some light over this way? There isn't really anything I can think of to get some light over on this way. I need to get to the other side. Oh, actually. No. Oh, I forgot she was calling earlier, wasn't she? Or was I wrong? I might be mistaken. Oh, uh, I wish my memory is a little better. I actually don't know which fuse is like which. Um, or which room is which, honestly. I'm so good. I'm so good. It was in this room. It was that room. Mm, maybe there's another fuse. Do you think there could be another one? Hmm. I can't. I should probably go down there. That's not a lady in a white dress. So she might be safe. Maria Tomus, wystraszyłeś mnie. 
Słyszałam jakieś hałasy, ale nie wiedziałam, że to ty. Myślałam, że to jaki intrus. No to zamknęłam drzwi. Mhm. W dzisiejszych czasach to wszędzie pełno groźnych typów. Jak się tu dostałaś do cholery? No przecie ja sąsiadka jestem. A co, jakby się coś złego działo pod ich nieobecność? Spójrz no to, Ruś. Im dłużej patrzę na te zasłony, tym bardziej mi się podobają. Wszyscy pękną z zazdrości, jak zobaczą moją suknię. Teraz wybacz, ale nie mam za dużo czasu. Muszę zacząć szyć. What? Oczywiście byłoby łatwiej, gdyby ta stara wiedźma Janowska nie zamknęła drzwi do piwnicy na kłódkę. Aha. Mogłabym pożyczyć od niej maszynę do szycia oh. i nie marnować więcej czasu. Ale po kolei, Szymańska. Najpierw obmysz sobie dupsko. Nie miałaś sukienki szytej na miarę od czasu studniówki, wieki temu. Okej. Okay. So at least she's not dangerous. Um... Door is now unlocked. Cool. And now she can walk around as she pleases. Um, bronze statue of a woman holding two jars. Nameplate says. Wong. Wong. Gly? No. Wong. Glinde. Guarding the red. 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 The jar in her left hand is sealed. There's a small piece of paper in the other one. Oh, Rhine Maiden Won Wo Linde, who carrieth a jar full of sacred water. I offer you a betrothed ring as a sign that I renounce love for time eternal. Grant me a holy warrior access to red in gold, so I may slay foes of plenty. Um. Huh. The ring gently slides onto the woman's finger of a flank. A faint click of metal is heard from inside the statue. The statue starts to tremble as the old mechanism sets it into motion. Okay. Wow. I solved the puzzle on accident. Bronze safe. I opened it. I found a gun. I will keep it. Okay. I can't take the ring back. Um uh, Yes. Marnujesz czas. Byłaś tam to dziś i wciąż niczego nie znalazłeś. Get out of there if you still have anything. Właśnie znalazłem strzelbę. To się schował w takim nazistowskim. Nie przyszedłeś tu po jakąś zatraną strzelbę. I feel like a rifle would be. W takim razie odłożę ją na miejsce. Nie zachowuj się jak smarkacz. Masz nową zabawkę? Brawo. Teraz skup się na głównym zadaniu. Wiesz, gdzie może być ta mapa tuneli? Znajdź ją, bo inaczej będziesz musiał użyć tej twojej broni. Okej. Okay. So I... This is as a... As the story progressed thing, though. I think. Uh, so I don't think... I'm actually wasting time. I think I'm more so... I'm making progress. Where'd she go? That's not my business. You yeah, know, she's gone. I don't need to know where she went. I can't take the light. And I'm not touching that. Use. Okay, so I don't think I have any reason to go in this room anymore.
but I accept for the fact that I might have to Oh, actually, no, put in the light bulb. Uh don't don't do anything. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Now I have a shortcut to get to that room. So I don't need to keep the light bulb in here. Take out light bulb. Yes. Okay. And, um, I think this room has multiple, like, two, three other rooms connected to it. Um, and I don't, the light isn't on in there, so I'm going to, oh, my bad. This way? Yes. So I need to change out the fuses so that I can see upstairs, but now I don't really have to worry about what's going on down here i don't think um try over here i think that's the one where'd that lady go okay so now there's light in this room Oh, but I need light in here. So I can progress. So. Wrong. Wrong room, I think. Wrong room. So this blue one should be the trick. That should be the trick. Did you see that key got stuck in the padlock? Oh, that's true. 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 Oh, that with the lights on. But now that that light's on, I think that's a sign. Well, how'd she get in here? I've been trying to get in here for so long. Is over here. And why are you? Matko, jedyna co za burdel. Jak ja mam tu cokolwiek znaleźć? Może dzieciaki oh, mają jakieś kredki i nie to sobie poradzę, jeśli w ogóle je wygrzebie. Might be, might be. Oh, so there is something over there that I can grab, possibly, or at least investigate. Um, but I need that light bulb. Which is not in here. I need to get better at my job. On a slide, do we keep it? Yeah. 
Dzieciaki narobiły bałaganu, to niech same zbiorą rzeczy. O. Może teraz uda mi się znaleźć jakieś ołówki i linijki do zdjęcia miary. Ale wciąż nie mogę niczego uszyć bez maszyny. Musi być gdzieś w piwnicy, ale klucz się złamał w tej cholernej kłódce. Tomuś, kochaneczku, pomóż kobiecie w potrzebie. Tu potrzeba męskiej ręki. Uh, so I guess I don't really have to worry about anything there. Uh, I'm gonna take this light bulb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it kind of just grows into my feet. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I guess I can retrieve them if I don't need them anymore. Uh. Oops. So it looks like the only thing I have left to do is break that lock. Oops. I can't get here anymore. Okay, I do want to have a light bulb on my person just uh, but I can't go back. Fine. Oh, I got the blueprints? I didn't know that was the blueprints. Nie muszę tam iść. Po co mieliby slajd, którego nie mają na czym wyświetlić? You can't do it. To duży dom, pełno to rób wiedzi. Znajdę go. Way up to a light source. Dobra, tylko się pospiesz. They'll figure it out though. They'll figure it out. Anything of sorts that I need to worry about down here? It will not work. Yeah. <laughs> All projector used to display slides on images. Wait, images on slide. Uh, the Janowski house demo ends here, but the story will continue. However, don't focus too much on what you see here. There was probably no slide. There was no white dressed lady. Were the rooms always so empty? Okay. This is, I enjoyed this. Um. Let me see how long. What time is it? I can. I can do. This. For sure. I can do this. Um. Let's see. A lot of Holston is still in the future and we want to share this feature with you help us by filling a quick survey below and wish listing also it took me an hour <laughs> and 16 minutes oh wonderful wonderful let me see the school
Let's see. How familiar are you with classic survival horror games? Mm, not very familiar with them. Wait, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch to chatting and then I can talk. I'll talk about games, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. I do. I want to, like, process what just happened. Uh, open link in do tab. I'm putting up the music. Oh. Um... My just my chat widget isn't working properly. Which is very unfortunate for me. Okay, so that was the first demo. There were two of them, so we're definitely gonna do the other one. Um For sure, for sure, for sure. But I wanna process what I just went through. I am not someone who's very familiar with survival horror games. Um, I know that they exist. I barely watched like gameplay videos of them. I just like understand like their kind of um, mechanics and stuff. And I I'm filling out the survey, by the way. Um, like I I'm familiar with like their mechanics. Uh, I'm a little familiar with the stories, but only a smidgen, like only a little, a little. I have a friend, um, Knucklehead. She is very interested in resident evil bad very bad brain rot so a lot of the things that i know about resident evil is like through her and i also have two streamers in my catalog that i don't really watch much anymore uh not for any particular reason um but they aren't vtubers so i think i kind of i didn't lose interest because i like them still <laughs> but they kind of were less in my realm of interest in terms of the, the, the streaming wise they're still good guys i think they're they're wonderful people um who have wonderful streams um and both of them um i think one of them in particular plays resident evil games a lot and i i've watched them play i think resident evil 6 together just a little bit but um and then silent hill um is a game that i've always been like mildly interested in but never really like i never really got into i, I did i haven't even seen anyone like play it for real for real um i should name drop i can name drop it doesn't matter so the people i i've seen play resident evil games are snake and shay shay andrew i guess i i only hear like the shortened version of the name. um snake and shay i think snake in particular i've i've known him to play resident evil fairly often um so whenever i think of resident evil i think of him but for resident evil 4 I think I actually watched, um, I watched Echo, Echo Gummy play a little bit. I watched Shoto play a little bit, um, and, but only a little bit. I feel like I've watched some, like, Germa clips here and there. Like, I know, and then there's also, like, um, Knucklehead. I I've watched them play a fair amount of Resident Evil, like, 2. Only a little bit. I I have a very vivid like feeling in my rib cage of the nemesis. I think, or not nemesis. Um, the 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 freaky like guy with the the weird hat coat. Um, not nemesis. I don't think so. I think he's some something else. Uh, I remember him. I remember the sound of his stomping the halls of the uh police department i remember him it's 
Silent Hill, I think I've also watched Echo Gummy play a little bit, but I miss so much of those streams. And I hope that it gets uploaded to YouTube some at some point. Or she plays again. Like that would be nice. If she just played again. I'd be down for that. Yeah, I'd be down for for her to just play it again. That would be nice for me in particular. Um, but I can't guarantee that I'd catch the stream because uh, work. I now she streams earlier. That doesn't really matter. But for me, um, I was like watching her stream while I was like preparing dinner or like doing some chores and stuff. Um, which no matter like when I started working, I just stopped watching her streams because she was streaming while I was working and it just didn't, it didn't work out. Um, but I would pop in every now and again and they would be joking about something like her in the chat. There's like this ongoing joke that's Silent Hill related. Um, and I just never. <laughs> Like, I just don't have the full context because I missed it. Oh, but it, yeah, not very familiar, very, not very familiar. I find them interesting. I think, um, maybe Pathologic, which I haven't played on stream, but I plan to play on stream, would count as a survival horror game, but it's not a classic one, it's not like a uh, definitely not what you would call a classic I don't even know how well known it is um, it's fairly well known though I I keep thinking that my interests are obscure they're not <laughs> Alston is not an obscure game um Sorry, I was yawning. Um, my my interests are not obscure. I feel like they are sometimes because um, I don't encounter people who are also interested in the things I'm interested in. But that's also because I'm not very social. So, like, there's like a whole community of people who like the thing that I like, and the community is more than two people. So, <laughs> like, it's not. It's not an obscure thing, you know? Um, I want to... Mm, I'm still thinking about, like, experience with classic survival horror. I want to watch Hex. Hex Haywire. Also. Um, like, I think Echo Gummy mentioned that um, Silent Hill was, like really i guess nostalgic for her um and i think for hex it's the same or similar it's a game that he has a special place in his heart for definitely and i don't know if he's played it on stream but i definitely like to watch like both of them play that would be funny to watch them like simultaneously go through this like different things because they're so different but not really <laughs> but fairly different so it would be nice to like kind of compare and contrast how they go through the things actually you know i have a um i have a pdf in here i have a um, what is this what is this somewhere i have something bookmarked somewhere that's um the silent hill actually it's not a silent hill like game game design document but i think it's something incredibly similar it might have been someone analyzing it 
like analyzing Silent Hill 2. I'm reading it right now. Um, I think it might have been someone who was analyzing Silent Hill 2 and kind of made a design document based off of it. I honestly have no idea. Um, but I was supposed to read it. I wanted to read it and, um, use it as like a sort of jumping off point for how to create a design document for any of the projects that I wanted to do. Um, I, I, I think I've skimmed through it a little bit, but I just haven't committed to the bit okay what's the next question next question how would you rate holston the Janous janowski house demo i think i would give it off the top of my head i think i would give it a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 Uh, one of the things that I really liked was the environmental design. I was just very fond of, you know, the whole lived in house thing. <laughs> um, I don't know how people do it. Like now that I've tried to do it, I don't, I don't know how people do it. Um, I think if I dis, I don't necessarily dislike this aspect, but the, um, controls were a bit hard to get used to. Sorry, I'm like saying things out loud and then I'm typing it. Um, yeah, the controls were a bit hard to get used to, um, n not, like, not having to point at anything is kind of, you know, you know, But it might have just been a controller type game. Um, so I think for the next bit, maybe? No, I'll, I'll keep doing keyboard and mouse. Um, and then maybe when I play the actual game, because I definitely want to play the actual game whenever it comes out. Um, I want wait what was i saying what was i saying uh, dang it oh when i'm playing the actual game i'll try like a uh, uh, gaming game game gamer controls controller 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 instead of mouse and keyboard um well let's see i like the environmental design i liked i did enjoy the puzzles um i really did i enjoyed the puzzles i think they were very smart um but i wish i don't know if it's like a bad thing that you or that i personally i don't i don't know how they kind of like intended for the uh statue thing to go because i just found like i found a watering can that i could pick up and i was like oh i want that watering can and i got it and then i found a sink or something like i found a faucet that i could put water into the watering can and i was like oh i guess i'll do that because it gave me an option to and <laughs> there was a ring that i could pick up and i just picked it up i just picked up the ring um uh, and there was a key 
Um, I didn't know what that key went to. There were multiple locked doors in the house, and I didn't even remember that that door in particular was locked. So there's just little things like that, but I don't know if that's something that's like a bad thing, and I don't know if that's something that ruined the experience for me. It definitely didn't, because I then I wouldn't give it 10 out of 10 for the rating, but I don't know. That is something that kind of like, like kind of uh, a little bit, like in the sense that I I enjoyed like the problem solving of the like light based puzzles. That was fun. Um, I did kind of miss the mark for a while with the fuses, like not knowing that I was supposed to like change them out or that I even could. But that I did get there eventually, and that was. Fun. Like that, that part was fun where I was like, oh, wait, if this, if this light is on and this, this light isn't working and I have access to the fuse box, <laughs> then maybe I can do something about that. Like that, that's fun. I don't know if I articulated that out loud or if I had like a little silent brain blast because I'm pretty sure I Thought I, I thought about it silently and then I just made it happen. Uh, my fault. My bad. Mm -hmm. mm, my tea tastes like break. Um, And I don't know, like that there were some things. I like the light based puzzles. I like the light based puzzles for sure. <laughs> the light slash electricity puzzle. I uh, did I spell that right? I don't think so. <laughs> puzzle um i liked the tension i think um i wasn't like scared out of my pants but i was like still like tense with the the singing lady i really thought that she was going to be like a dangerous thing and i was like avoiding her at all costs and the fact that she wasn't a threat it was great like that's amazing i i love that Um, for what I dislike, I said the controls, um, I don't necessarily love finding the solution to something before I found the problem, because I think maybe it would be nice, like, you know how in some games, um, I, I can't it's in multiple games i can't think of like which one would be the example um but in when you walk up to something and you're gonna like use an item for it or you're gonna interact with it it's like okay so what do you want to do and then you have to like go into your inventory and use this and see if something works out um i think something like that would is then when you go up and you walk up to something it doesn't automatically give you the answer if you have it in your hand um, but that would just solve like my personal like like i'm thinking ace attorney i'm thinking ace attorney how intuitive with the inventory all on Intuitive. Mm. It made sense. 
I'll just give it a four. Very, very intuitive. Being, well, very intuitive is five and not at all is one. Was the input scheme intuitive? Was it? Like it made sense. I'll give it a three, four. What's your favorite weapon in the tunnel? Okay. I think s these later questions are about. Yeah, these are about the second part. Um, cross performance is smooth. Um,. My processor and graphics card. Oops, I pressed them. There we go. Seven, 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 two, zero, X, eight, core, cross, cross, that's so. You is How old am I in between that range? Um, okay, I guess. I guess we're ready to switch back to the game. that closed oh we're back and the game still the thingy still works this time is gonna be combat so the point or the focus of the first one was showcasing puzzles 
uh, showcasing the graphics, I guess, or like their um, choice for how they wanted to like render everything, I guess. And also a test of their atmosphere, their environmental design, most likely. Um, which I think they hit it out of the park for sure. Okay. So there are six levels. The interactive exhibition. Since these are just combat sections, they should be. Szanowanko, moje nazwisko Przemysław Wodnik. Witam na interaktywnej wystawie Muzeum Ziemi Warmińskiej w Olsztynie. Oddział terenowy Jeziorne Kolonia. Tytuł wystawy Holstein. Mechaniki walki i poruszania się. Teraz uskuteczniane są, prawda, prace konstrukcyjne, więc sprawy wyglądają nieco inaczej niż powinny. Tymczasowo mamy taką jakby wersję demonstracyjną. I nie wszystko można robić. Demonstracyjną? Zapoznaj się pan z tabliczkami w pomieszczeniu, to się pan dowiesz. Potem zapraszam w dalszą część wystawy. Mam czytać jakieś tabliczki? Mousu nie ma. Ale żeby potem nie było, że pan czegoś nie wiesz. A to nie pan jest tutaj przewodnikiem? Nie, to nie. Wolny this time kraj. I couldn't click on it. I had to press F. Oh, but this time my cursor position does matter. Weird. Okay. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Some interactions are only accessible from a certain camera angle. Yeah, of course, of course. Which I think is part of the, the puzzle solving charm, I think, where it's kind of like you miss something just because. Just because you weren't like, you couldn't see it on your camera. Uh, be sure to look around if you feel like you missed something of value. Uh, did I miss any? Okay. Pressing the F button to interact isn't too bad. Authorized personnel only. Uh, industrial lubricants in Greece is way past the expiration date. Okay. Being it it rotating my body is very interesting. Huh? Door is locked and won't open with a key. He probably has the. Or a horrid stink comes out from the barrel. Something must have died in here. Yeah, it must have. So I wonder if um, Holston is going to be broken up into like levels where it's like where like the kind of the controls kind of change a little Takie bit. zamknięte drzwi mogą stanowić zagwozdkę. Chyba że masz pan klucz, ma się rozumieć. Yeah, I wonder if um, like it's gonna have sections like this where are gonna be like, okay, you're gonna be in a combat setting, so the controls work like this, and then. Okay, you're gonna be in it. Like, a, like this is puzzle solving. I'm still puzzle. So, we're gonna do it like this. Like, a... okay, so now I'm looking for a key.
Found a rusty key. Uh-huh. Oh, I found another one. Thank you. Found a flashlight. Thank you. Uh... Hmm... The tentacle, like, pseudopod tied when electric light shines on them. The conserved battery switch the flashlight off by pressing 5 or the right stick. I think this is... It's giving... Oh, you can turn it around. Neat. That's a... This is a... This is so... Old Soviet flashlight. It essential, it's essential for seeing anything in pitch darkness of the tunnels. However, it can draw attention of opponents. I guess if you're trying to hide... How many rusty keys you need? And I guess you can. Yeah. Okay. I like the I like the inventory. Common light, den of sleep, pitch dark underground. Let me uh any daredevil that would find himself. El Dorado of creatures, perhaps. But how did they get there? Maybe the redacted representing the people tried to redact it. The tunnel treasures are historians redacted. Valuable study material. One can find some Nazi redacted before Warmia has recovered. Professor Jersey Hilch redacted terrorist band of redacted Okay, I'm not, re I'm not reading all this. Wait, maybe I should. Um, scholars still cannot explain of the common folk recording to a local resident and goons started there. They took respectable, started bringing more stuff and for now, but that's certainly not history of the time warmia land is planning to venture into younger citizens about disturbing the peace of, of the people's republic and the re reactionary hoodlums still hustle okay okay Okay, this is a bit difficult to navigate, I think, with a mouse. Oh, yeah, this is a bit difficult to navigate with a mouse and keyboard. Zapraszam za mną. Zapraszam, nie ma się czego bać. Okay, this is, yeah, it's a bit hard to navigate with a mouse and keep. No, I think I'm gonna, yeah. I've been in front of his face. Um. W imieniu całej Rady Nadzorczej naszej placówki mam przyjemność powitać w kolejnej sekcji wystawy. Przypomnę tutaj o tym, że na terenie należy zachować zasady bezpieczeństwa i higieny pracy. Radzę się dobrze skradać, bo na ewentualność jakiejś katastrofy, to wiesz pan... Jakiejś znowu katastrofy? No wiesz pan, ja, jak ktoś ma pecha, to mu w drewnianym kościele cegła na głowę spadnie. 
A tutaj, to jak się pan dasz zauważyć, to panałka trupią. To na pewno część wystawy? No, ale to tylko tak demonstracyjnie, bo to taka demonstracyjna wystawa. W razie W zawsze możesz pan zacząć jeszcze raz. I have to find the controls for this thing. Um, ooh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do it without controller, and then yeah. Next time I'll probably play. Because having to like reach up to go to the five button, it's kind of just awkward. It feels awkward doing it on keyboard and mouse. Need just catch. Okay, I won't. Don't see the door. Employee name, assistant curator, Michael, wait, meet chat. Bakzinski. As a newly appointed assistant curator, I was sent to Jezjorn Kolonia by the Museum of the Warmian Land to examine the underground tunnels that are to be turned into a living exhibition. Having conducted a visual inspection. I am to believe much more time is necessary than we initially assumed. Items of factual history value need to be sorted out from the common waste and prepared and secured. Some are in possession of a group that could possibly prove to be subversive. However, I'm sure that after powerful negotiations, they will gladly help us with this task for the sake of the common good. What was the button that I originally was supposed to press to like get out of things? I've been pressing uh, escape the whole time. Uh, press control or I'll stick to crouch. While crouching, you move more quietly and you're less visible. So you can sneak past enemies. Turn off your flashlight because enemies will notice the light coming off from it. Of course, of course. Oh, actually. Uh, Q, Q, E, or left button, right button. Got it. Uh, R stick. R stick and L stick. Yeah, this is definitely giving. This is so. It's so. Yeah, it's definitely giving. Yes. <laughs> Controller. Controller is the way to go. Keep that in mind. Controller is the way to go. For sure. Oh, and I guess. I thought those having to rotate the camera thing is, I think, good. Like, it's neat in the sense that, like, okay, I don't know how to go around this guy. And then I just rotate the camera around the whole room. And I see a path that I never would have considered traveling to.
He's not moving. Oh, I want to move behind him. Oh, it hurts me. No, 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 wait. I think he's safe, actually. That's the guy I trust. Na tablicach będzie coś niecoś o unikach i kopniakach. I jak pan przeczytasz, to zapraszam do zabawy. W wojsku był? Był. No to pan raczej będziesz wiedział. Ścieżka zdrowia. Chyba pan żartuje. <śmiech> Oczywiście, że tak. Taka demonstracyjna ścieżka zdrowia. <śmiech> Na żarty. Chociaż, jak to mówi dzisiejsza młodzież, jak dostaniesz bułę na ryj, to żarty się skończą. herbs so neat it's neat it's neat that i can it's so neat i love this i love i love just being able to look at 3d models like it's cool hey spacer beat it out. got it Okay. They just sidesteps. <sighs> well, I don't have anyone to fight them. Wait, 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 wait. How is I supposed to... I don't know how I was supposed to, um... Okay. Oh, wait. Down? Uh... I see, I see, I see. Uh, the sense of panic, that's nice. I love that. I love that. Will note workbook with unfinished homework. Describe your imaginary friend and write what you would do if they were real. I like the panic. I like the panic. For sure. Jakbyś pan znalazł jaki fant, co panu podpasuje, no to wiesz pan. Znalezione, nie kradzione. True. Find your secret. Um. Right trigger to kick. Oh, it's so, it's so Resident Evil. Actually, I said earlier, I don't play Resident Evil, it's so Resident Evil. Um, I found a shelter to live in. Like, so I'm going to write about it. Isidore told me to do, to keep a log. It's good for keeping the mind busy, he said. He took me from the street and showed me the tunnels. I didn't know you could live there. Thought the police shoot people like us away. So now there's me and Isidore. There's also Knack. Mud. Mud. Mundek. And Lodzia. Lodzia. It's dark and humid in there, but it's less cold than in the street. Lodzia said Provost. Anthony will visit us 
tomorrow. I feel tired, so I'm going to lay down and sleep. I won't feel the rain falling down my head for the first time in forever. It's not my, none of my concern. I like the tension, it's nice. Zombies are scary. Those zombies. Oh, common light in a den of thieves. Kicking and dodging are useful when you're swarmed by enemies. Both abilities have different strengths and drawbacks. Properly used, any of them may be a difference between life and death. I haven't talked to you in a while. Jakbyś kiedyś się pan widział z zarządem, to proszę jakieś miłe słówko o mnie szepnąć. Jakbyś kiedyś się pan widział z zarządem, to... I'll try. Oh, and this is a full voice. Dang. I'm just re realizing. I'm sure it's who's of all trees covered in some brains. Stains. Hopefully, it's just blood. Proszę, proszę. Widzę, że nawet się pan nie zgrzałeś. A oh, dziwne. I didn't even realize he was here. A no tak, przepraszam pana. Zapomniałem powiedzieć o jednej rzeczy. Jeszcze jakieś młodzieżowe powiedzonko? Musimy porozmawiać o energii. Może na następnej części wystawy. Naprzód, młodzieży świata. Okay. Mm. I feel like I kind of want. I don't know. But I I'm I want to go to bed soon. Um. I'll just try to get through it. Um... No dobrze. Teraz możemy rozmawiać o tej energii. Mm -hmm. Otóż widzisz pan, na dole masz pan taki biały pasek. Yes. Jaki pasek? No tu, na dole. On pokazuje, ile pan masz energii. O czym pan w ogóle mówi? Naprawdę go nie ma? Hmm. A to szkoda. Ale jak się yes. przestanie o nim mówić, to się pojawia z powrotem. I jak pan coś kopniesz, albo będziesz robił jakieś inne męczące rzeczy, to mm -hmm. ten pasek się trochę skróci. To znaczy, że się pan męczysz i trzeba trochę odpocząć. O. Oh. Noted, noted. I need to be careful.
The white bar at the bottom of your screen represents your energy. Actions such as kicking or dodging deplete it. Um, energy re generates over time. Hold on. Did I lose internet? Did I lose internet? I think I did. I think I wholeheartedly did. My Wi-Fi. Uh. That's not. My Ethernet's just gone. I think everything is gone. Oh man, yeah, it's just there. There's really there's no dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. There's there isn't really anything I can do. Um. I guess I could keep playing, maybe. Uh, everything's still gonna go on YouTube. Ah, uh, man. Oops. Hmm. I think. Oh, I keep uh moving out of the like range of my microphone sorry uh my internet cut out just a little bit ago i noticed that my watch was going off because uh discord you know like discord just gave me a whole bunch of notifications that i wasn't paying attention to earlier um because it wasn't connected to my computer anymore dang it okay i'll just Mm. Okay, items that recovered you instantly. Hey, thanks for the messages you left for me. I thought I could make some for you. I first came here because my stinky bubble brothers don't let me play with them. Mom tells me to don't worry. Just go play with the other girls, but I don't, but I want to know their secret base. I followed them to find out where they sneak away at night. And then you remember what happened on Saturday. When Rizzi found me, he was mad at me, but I told him to let me stay. So, and I won't tell mom. So now I can t play with them. Tunnels are kind of scary and very dark. There are many things there. Smelly co clothes, cans with very old food. There's an old fridge and many other things. I also found a pretty mirror. And a cat. Oh, my bad. And a cat purr. Let me take it home. I'll show you when you come out. Yes, it's okay that you're afraid to come out, but we and the people here are nice. I'll keep writing to you about them and leaving notes here that so maybe you won't be so afraid. Z tą prawda energią czasami jest różnie. Jak pana ktoś walnie, to jest dostaniesz pan w nos, to ten pasek robi się, no, jaki? Krótszy? Nie! Ma się rozumieć, że nie. Krótszy się robi, jak pan kogoś kopniesz, albo coś w tym rodzaju, prawda? Jak to pana ktoś kopie, to robi się czerwony. Może ja zrobię, żeby było łatwiej zrozumieć. Uwaga! Pokazuję i objaśniam. Oj, oj, oj. Ouch. Cholera, co pan robi? Teraz zapraszam do właściwej sekcji wystawy, w której nauczysz się pan, co zrobić dalej. 
Proszę się nie przejmować, do wesela się zagoi. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's hurt. No. He hurt him. On alcohol. What's that do? Uh, highly concentrated alcohol, unsuitable for consumption. I might find something else to mix it with. I suppose. Um, in the full game's version, you'll be able to upgrade it to Maz's abilities and weapons. Thank you. Maximum value of energy depends on your current health. The more your damage, the less max energy you have. Oh, that's smart. That's so smart. that way uh coffee restores full energy and temporarily freezes this consumption neat cool i guess i'm supposed to restore uh employee name assistant curator my me uh, back zinski uh i was able to conduct a more detailed inspection of the items located in the tunnels it turned out there are german uniforms for world war ii books from the 1930s and early 1940s very various pieces of silver cutlery a unique piece of clothing. I kindly asked the museum board to send professionals who would provide detailed descriptions and help secure the objects. Their help would be needed to clean and sort waste from items that would- Ow! Ah! Un that's unrelated. Ouch. Ah. Sorry. Mm -mm. Um... Provide detailed description and help secure the objects. Their help would be needed to clean and sort waste from items that would serve as our future exhibits. One person qualified in the negotiations would also be essential to persuade residents to relocate. With a bit of time, it would be our most beautiful exhibition. I lost you lost me. Um it wasn't their fault <laughs> because I was experiencing pain. Okay, in the inventory menu, you can combine alcohol and herbs to create a dur. A potential healing item. A potent he healing item. Herbs can be used without combining them with alcohol, but their healing effect is much lower on their own. Okay. Okay, now I can run again. Ah! Huh? Wait up, right, down, stop. I died. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Um, left, left, down. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. 
that instead of like like wiggling the remote like vigorously you just no press a certain yeah, button combination and i'm just not doing it Um, I think divine support is next. And my enemy is still there. Oczywiście, że nie. To jest muzeum. Ktoś musi zwiedzać, a ktoś musi oprowadzać. Taka jest kolej rzeczy. Od teraz pan jesteś przewodnik, a ja tu zwiedzam. Nie na tym polega strajk. Jak pan chcesz dyskutować, to na moich warunkach. Jako przewodniczący Komitetu Strajkowego prezentuję, prawda, żądania. Do kontynuacji zwiedzania potrzebne jest zakończenie marudzenia i obrazek z papieżem. Obrazek z papieżem. Aha, aha. Czyli przestanie marudzenia nie jest takim problemem. Tak. Obrazek z papieżem. Przecież to staj. Wait, he wants Na pewno a ojciec święty go wspiera. I... Obrazek symbolicznie wystarczy. Przecież jego eminencja tu nie będzie się w luk pod ziemię. So he wants a picture for me. Is that what I'm gathering for this? So I, do I have to go around and look for something? Am I looking for something? Wait, I'll talk to you again. I'm sorry. Obrazek symbolicznie wystarczy. Okay, so I guess I'll... I'm looking for something. Aim assist. And gun bullets. I have a gun. And herbs. Okay. Right. Oh, left trigger to aim. You can reload your weapon by pressing RX. I only have eight bullets. So I'm looking for something. This is cool. Actually. Oops. I got him. Oh my god. That was scary. That's the reason why I originally was going to use... Well, I actually don't use controller that often. Um, but I've grown to start using it more. And one of the, but I was like, okay, I have to use, um, something. I have to use a uh, mouse and keyboard for this for sure, because I have to, you have to aim and shoot things. A slide projector with nothing to display. Gunpowder. I guess you can make some bullets. I have enough space, man. Um. Oh, I have herbs and alcohol. So I'll combine. Limited. So we have a limited inventory. I see. I see. 
Handgun bullets by combining nails and gunpowder. Okay. Don't know how much sense that makes to me, but as, as somebody who does not know anything. Okay. There's multiple of them. Me personally, I don't want to be in here. But I might be able to run past them. So I think with the handgun, I have to be fairly close in order to do anything. And that one doesn't have a head. So it doesn't see me. It's inferring. Behavior. I don't know what the behavior of these enemies is. Oh, I can't sneak when I'm reloading my gun. It automatically makes me stand up. Which I feel like I should be able to do that crouching. I wonder if it's kind of like cheating. So, what I'm gathering, shooting the head first might not, like, it, it could be the move because they can't see me anymore, but them, they become more aggressive when they can't see me, by the looks of it. I don't have any more bullets.
But I guess I have to go the other way. There's nothing. There's nothing else in here. Found a small pouch. Yeah, there's uh, not much I can do in here. I found more nails. Ooh. But I don't have any gunpowder. So I'm thinking that I probably don't want to, um, I, I think I want to be more conservative with how I go about this. Oops. Ouch. Ooh, that's difficult. That's difficult. Mm. And I don't have any more bullets. Ouch. <laughs> I don't have any more bullets. Okay, I think I have the basic controls down, so we're gonna just try out this tunnel thing. Won't open. He has the key. That scared me. And there's stuff scary. <laughs> there's stuff like flying around that's scaring me as well. Um, assistant curator with with chat back sink seat. Zinski. The work is going splendid going on splendidly. Just yesterday an elderly resident of Gior Colonia shared an interesting story with us that can be categorized as a legend. He claims that these passages were built by the Nazis to keep prisoners there and torture them. Uh, after the war, the soldiers left the tunnels without unlocking the rooms. It is believed that people who were forgotten about and died there haunted, haunt this place to this day. It's surely worth being included in our exhibition description. As for the date of opening, it's still not, still nothing can be said with certainty, but a year and a half seems to be a valid perspective. We're encountering a multitude of technical difficulties including loss of equipment electricity shortages as well as a lack of cooperation from the residents speaking of which i want to take notice that my plea for a negotiation expert was left unanswered Found nails oh 
My inventory is different. I can... I don't know how to cycle through my weapons. I now know how to cycle through my weapons. Okay, and I have some handgun bullets. Okay, an energy bar. I don't know what's... I don't know what the scrap... Alcohol. Not enough space. Dang it. Uh... But I don't think there's anything I can buy in this. Oh, automatic guns for the rifle. Oh, I see. I was supposed to keep going through the tunnel as fast as possible, right? But I did. I do want to go to sleep soon. And my internet still hasn't come back, which is very disheartening. Um, but I can still. I had fun. That was fun. That was fun. I just don't have any internet though. It's just, again, concerning. Is what? How did that happen? Uh, do I have my phone with me? I do. Um, and it says my phone is. No, it's not. Oh, man, I don't have any uh music saved on my computer. I don't think. So man, why does it hate me? I don't have any music saved on my computer. So I got nothing I can play like offline. It's just like silence. Silence is killing me, man. Killing me. Now I'm just cooked. That's okay. Um, I still have the Google form up though. So I'm going to like kind of answer the rest of the questions. Um, and then hopefully my computer doesn't forget them before I wake up. Well, it doesn't it doesn't forget them by the time I open the, the thing, which. Oh, man, this is so like. Unfair. That my Internet stopped working and I don't know what. What caused. OK, I stopped the stream. The stream is over. Um, so my computer isn't trying to stream to anyone anymore. It's just. This thing. Oh, my favorite weapon in the tunnel. I don't know. Okay, so this is... Was the input scheme... The controls were a bit hard to get used to. I'll say in... On mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard controls were hard to get used to. I would say that the uh, controller is definitely the way you go, aside from the fact that it's kind of hard to aim um,
But I don't have a favorite weapon, or at least for kick or dodge, kick or dodge. I think dodge. I probably got more out of dodging. Maybe, maybe. I didn't actually, but I didn't really utilize kicking or dodging so much. Um. But I see myself dodging more. Did do you like the amount of resources you had? I'll hmm. I'll leave that. Uh, what do you think about the transition from isometric perception to over the shoulder viewing while aiming? I like it. I like it. Um. I I like it. It is a bit confusing sometimes. Um, when it, cause it automatically goes in the direction that you're like already aiming in. And sometimes I'm not aiming at the person. So I will, I wish there was like a little bit of it. Um, just, I don't know. If, if I'm pointing my gun at something, then like, why, why else would I be doing it? And, to shoot at an enemy. So like I, I wish my my guy would turn around a little bit, just a little bit. Um, but I think that's you know that's kind of just like a skill issue. That's a skill issue on my end. That's okay. Um, the tunnel demo. Hmm. Let me see. Let me go through the questions again. So, did the input scheme seem intuitive? Was the, was the input scheme? I'm, I, would, I would say yes. I'm sorry. I keep, I keep moving my uh, keep moving my mouth away from the microphone, and it's causing like the the thing to drop a little bit. That's my bad. Hmm. Um, what? How intuitive was the inventory system? Um, I give it. Well, I'd say the input scheme was intuitive. Um, for for controller. For sure. Uh, inventory system. I. It was. Um. It made sense. Uh, being able to find things that was um, very easy to get used to. Uh, accessing the inventory very easy. Very simple. It kind of just has what you need it to have. Favorite weapon in the tunnel. I don't think I have one. But I'd probably choose a shotgun. And then, like, the, the rifle would be my least favorite, uh, just because of my preferences. That, that, those would be my preferences. Um, did you like the amount of resources you had? I think I'll just skip that question for now. I might replay it, like, off stream a little bit and kind of, like, judge it. A little bit from from trying to play it again, um, because the the tunnel section is gonna be a bit short to stream, but because it is a challenge, it seems like it would be a good idea to like replay it a little bit. So I could try it out again while I'm like gonna do something else. Possibly, I'd be down for that. Um, but in general, the difficulty, mm, it wasn't too easy for sure. I can't say it was too hard, so perfect is good. Perfect is fine. Uh, transition from the isometric. Again, that one is fine. Um, I like it in theory and 
in practice it's not bad but sometimes there is the issue of like it's probably kind of the same thing that you might run into when you're playing a game that's in an isometric perspective or like a, a fixed camera angle where you're like trying to aim and shoot at the enemy but you're just not quite pointing in their direction so i can imagine that's like an issue that people ran into quite often so i think i'll just have to get over it yeah i think i'll just i think i just gotta get over that one um it's definitely it's definitely something that could become frustrating in like a tense situation um because you just don't 100 percent sure know what's going around you when you are in that like combat mode it, it can be a bit disorienting um but not i think it's good enough i think it's good enough i think it's definitely good enough good enough for me good enough for, me, for sure for sure i feel like my mic is cutting out a lot or either that or i'm really quiet i think i might be like super quiet um pretty 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 quiet pretty quiet in certain some things i know i think in my one of my recent er videos i noticed it felt like the mic was cutting out pretty quickly and pretty easily and i was very concerned about that Um, anyways, but the resources, I wouldn't necessarily be allowed to judge. Um, the fact that I didn't have enough in inventory space for any of those resources was crazy. But I, I didn't get that far, so who's to say? Who's to say? Um, kicking or dodging. I definitely utilize dodge in combat more, um, just because, you know, why would I kick things? Uh, what is there? I feel like there's a game where you can, like, use melee attacks to neutralize the enemy so that you don't waste your bullets. And it might be Resident Evil 6, but I'm like, there's no way it's Resident Evil 6. It might be. I played Resident Evil 6, actually. I played that one. Um, it, but just that one. I've only played that one. Um, so we'll, just, we'll skip that one. How would you rate Holston the tumul Tunnel Demo? I can't rate it because I didn't finish it. Or I didn't, like, make any kind of substantial progress. I just went through like most of the tutorials, not even all of them. Mm. So I, I, uh, I guess that might be it. I can't really, like, I don't really have answers for the rest of these questions, which is like, you know, how would you read it? What did you like? What did you dislike about it? Because it, in my head, it's kind of just like the mechanics, which it just feels like Resident Evil <laughs> to me. It just feels like Resident Evil to me. Which might be, like, the point. Like, it's not that it's supposed to feel like Resident Evil. Like, it's supposed to feel like Halston, you know? Um, but it, it just feels like... Like, I don't really know how to, like, judge it. Because it just felt like I was playing Resident Evil. <laughs> Which, I hope that's not, like, a bad thing. I hope that's not a bad thing to, like, compare games but um experience wise like hmm, the whole like resource management thing is very important very very important um the it feels like one of those games that's like if you don't like you gotta be wise with with what you have, um, because there was that tutorial part where I lost all of my ammo, and I was like, "Oh, whoa, what am I supposed to do?" 
and I just got like kind of soft locked in there. Um, not really. I I did try to like push past and be like, well, yeah, I have to open that door, but that didn't really work out for me. And then I quit. So. Um, and the enemies themselves are pretty scary, especially when they're like running and lunging towards you. Like that's pretty unnerving. Um, I will definitely be needing those things in my nightmares for sure. Oh, they're so scary. Like, especially when they're running after you, like with no head. That's so scary. Oh, um, hmm. I think hmm, that's it. That's it. I can't. There isn't really as much I, I can say about it because, or not because of anything, but it's like it's just. Uh, it feels. I did, maybe it's a lack of experience on my end, but also. Like, lack of experience with, like, those kinds of games. Lack of, like, familiarity and lack of interest of those kinds of games internally. So I don't know how to talk about them. I should learn, though. I should learn. Because I feel like I might want to make, like, a game like that. Well, I definitely want to make, like, a combat center game for sure. Just because it would be fun and people have fun playing them. And I want to make something that someone will have fun playing. That's going to be a long time. That's going to be a long time. I do have ideas, though. I, I should make, like, a... Like, a, just a carnival-style, like, shooting game. Like, nothing crazy. Just, like, a aim-and-shoot type thing. Like, I could do that. I should try it out, at least. But I don't know how that's going to work in the context of Haven. Not that it has to, because it really doesn't. But I would like to see if I could fit it into the context. That would be nice. It would be very nice. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll cross those bridges when we get there. Um... But the bridge that I did cross recently, I made some progress on uh, Mariana's second concept. Uh, you may or may not have noticed the change in usernames. Every account that I have has changed usernames as far as I know. Um, we went from Radiant Refractor to Musidora on Mars. Uh, very interesting, <laughs> very exciting. Um, not a whole lot of people knew about Radiant Refractor, I don't think. Uh, so this change isn't really going to impact much for anyone other than me, <laughs> but I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. I hope that... Um, this is, this next story is one that I have an, an easier time coping through. And writing for, especially, um, a story that I have fun writing for. And the thing about this new concept, it's going to be, like, completely up in the air. Um, not going to be doing any fixed rules or fixed like storylines or anything i just have like vague concepts that just sound cool to me and we're just gonna roll with it like haven is kind of just gonna be rolling with it and i hope in the future if well i don't know it's too far in the future. um and a possibility that i can't quite calculate so i think hope wise I'll, I'll only try to speak for myself but i hope this is something that i'll that i can be very flexible with and as soon as i'm like oh i want to do this i'll just do it and 
I can slot it into Haven and just have it be in like a kind of similar setting. And even if it contradicts something, it can just be like, oh, well, it's just a, a story within a story or something. I don't know. Like, I, I'll just make it up as I go and have fun. That's the point. Just just have fun. Um, Now that the concept is done, I can't. Uh, I kind of contacted Nyarin May a little bit and I was like hey I, I did it I did the thing but I haven't like officially like reached out and be like so can 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 a commission happen I would like to commission you um and I've been kind of like trying to speed it along I might like do it earlier than I should uh just because I keep seeing people open up commissions and I'm like, oh, I have commission money now because I've been saving up for like, um, creative endeavors and I don't, I can't commission anybody to draw a character if the character's not done, you know, but I also shouldn't, it's not a wise investment for me right now, but I want to do it anyways because I just want to see. I just want to, you know, get her out there and see what people come up with. Um, I'm very, like, that's just kind of telling of how excited I am about it. Um, I love Mariana as she is now. So cute. And very stylish, very falling of her, for sure. Uh, but I'm very excited for, like, uh, the next era. And I hope that I love and resonate with her a bit, a little bit more. Just a, just a smidgen more. But I think, I don't know. You kind of, yeah, can't be the original. So I'll definitely, I'll miss her. I'll miss her as she is now, for sure. And I'll probably bring this design back. Definitely, because I'm gonna miss her. She's so she's so pretty. She's so cool. She's so cool. I love her so much. Hmm. I guess that's it for me. Uh, I played the game. I talked about the game. I talked about what well, next steps. Not for streaming. I am streaming next steps. Maybe Holston again just doing the tunnel thing um and then i can get a little clearer perspective on that i've been wanting to play ace attorney again but because because of my abysmal reading out loud skills i'm not very confident in my my ability um even though i can do ace attorney i've done it before um and I'll play it again one day or I'll play the other Ace Attorney games. And like, I, I can only get better by trying. And I can't. Like, I have to try if I want to get better. So I should do it. I still, I still want to. So, um, we'll get around to it one day because I want to finish the case that I'm on on stream. And then I can just do whatever I want. But I, I want to finish it on stream because I started it on stream and it just feels like right to me to to do that um aside from that we still have world of horror and i think i also have a few other games that i've been wanting to play Actually, I need to play Voice of the Void. I have that game. I've had it for a while. And I was like, oh, I'll stream it. And then I didn't. And I was supposed to do that for Wolf. Because he, he was the one who recommended it for me. Um, He was the one who, yeah, recommended it to me. So I was going to play on stream so that he could see it. And even if he can't see it when I'm playing it, he can watch it later. Mm. but because it's kind of it sounds like a scary game 
I've been hesitant to play it. That's the same reason why I was like procrastinating on playing the whole Centemo, even though I've had it since before I stopped streaming. Um, so I could have just played it, but I didn't. I'm a little beat. Happens to the best. Let's see, so Holston again. I didn't. I don't think I said I wanted to do Pathologic, but I do. Uh, probably after. I after I get a new outfit or something after Mariana changes. Um, that's when I'm gonna try to start doing new games. New series, um, because I don't know, I just really want to play Pathologic like after the fact. Ace Attorney, it doesn't really matter. Sekiro, it definitely doesn't matter. I'm not finishing that game, um, ever. <laughs> not, not with my skill set, um. Mm, yeah, there's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing it. It's, it's 2.30. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm losing it. It's 2.30 in the morning. Hold on. I'm going to, I'll just head off. <laughs> I've been rambling and rambling. After, definitely after stream, like post stream chatting, I could do. Pre-stream chatting, not so much, because there's just less to talk about. But after the game, I get, like, really excited. I'm like, oh, I love this game. This game is great. That game is great. I I like the game. I can't wait for the actual game to come out. And I think I'll enjoy it, and or at least definitely enjoy watching other people play it. But I personally want to play it when it comes out, for sure. And I wonder what all they might have in store for us whenever that happens i did pull up like the twitter account um i might i don't know if i can i don't know if i should stream it but it looks like they have some very uh nightmare inducing enemies that i haven't seen in the demo Um, we have a map. So the, I don't know if you have a Twitter, follow the Twitter for sure. One hundred percent, just follow the Twitter, and then you can keep up with the things that are going on as the game is being updated slowly. Um. If you don't have a Twitter. Well, even if you do, uh, definitely wishlist this game on Steam and just keep an eye out on it for it. There's definitely, I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of people who are playing this game when it does come out. Um, I hope so. And hopefully I'm one of them. Hopefully. I don't know how to end stream still. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching the stream. And sorry about my internet. I don't know when it went off. Um, this happens actually more often than not. Not more often than not, but like more often than it should. Where like specifically in the middle of the night, um, at when I should not be awake, the internet just stops working. It has happened so many. It has happened multiple times. I'll say at least five that I knew of, and that's just like when I've been awake. So I don't know how many times it just happens on a day to day basis where the internet just fully stops working. And I don't know why. It might have, I think it, like, I'm under the impression that it could have something to do with any of the construction that has been happening nearby. But I don't really see how that would affect it because they're working on like the roads and pipes. So, <coughs> sorry, sorry, 
So it doesn't make sense. Um, and I don't know. It must be the company. It has to be the company. But I don't know anything about internet providers. This sucks. Ugh. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen again. But anyways, thank you for watching the the video. Uh, it's longer than I thought it was going to be. But I hope that it was, it's a good experience for any who watches it. And definitely a good experience for me when I rewatch it, because I definitely will. I definitely will, because I think this is a good example of like my ability to sort of mentally analyze a game almost. Um, I don't think I do that good of a job at it, um, but it's definitely a start. And when I'm going through Holston again, at least uh, for this like little review thing for it, I'll definitely be rewatching my playthrough of it so that I can um, better see and better understand what exactly what kind of experience I personally. Have. So I look forward to doing that. I definitely look forward to doing that. Um. And I don't know if I should. I might watch some video essays. I look forward to it. It's gonna be fun. Definitely. Um. But anyways, sorry, sorry, sorry. Rambling. Um. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For watching the stream. Um. I hope that we we had some technical difficulties. But I'm sure everything's gonna be a okay. Um, and I'm I'm very happy that I was able to stream today. I'm very happy that I streamed today, even though I didn't quite feel like it, because I'm trying to learn how to do things that I don't really want to do. Not that I don't enjoy doing this because I do but I could have gone to sleep instead or I could have watched some anime or something like this isn't a waste of my time so there's always something easier that I could do like this is not easy <laughs> it's not easy that's why people get paid to do it you know if it was easy then anyone would do it and anyone can do it but not anyone will get paid for it you know um, so I'm very, very proud of myself for deciding I'll stream today, like on a whim and then doing it. And even though I was like, oh, but all oh, the game's going to be scary and oh, I, I'm not good at, at streaming. Like what's even the point and whatnot. Like, I'm happy that I did it. Go me. Shout out to me. Um, hopefully the mic didn't cut out as much this time. Pretty sure it cut out a lot for a previous stream. I will figure out what is the cause, but it's probably my um, mic settings. I just need to up the sensitivity on it so that people can hear me for a bit longer or something, or hear me even when I'm like quiet. Uh, so oh, I hope hope things are better for the next stream. Hopefully, I do it early. Um, thank you again for watching. I don't know how to end the stream again. Um, good night, I guess. Good night. Again, there's, there's no, there's no music. And the schedule is still high. So, sorry about that. Sorry. Mm, that's so awkward. I need to figure out how to end these. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start um tomorrow. I'm gonna watch a bunch of streams and just 
listen to how they like end things off um like in a natural manner which i don't think most people do but some of them have to i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some research and start putting it into practice but then, thank you again thank you thank you thank you again good night